We are extremely happy to bring you our Antitrust in Asia conference for a seventh consecutive year, covering the exciting developments that have taken place in Asian jurisdictions over the last 12 months. Now, 2020 and 2021 have been challenging years for everyone. We are still coming to terms with a new reality and the world has really come to a halt. And yet, from an antitrust perspective, this could not be further from the truth. And major developments have continued to come our way. In my jurisdiction, in Hong Kong, the Competition Commission brought its first ever abuse case against a medical gas provider that supposedly engaged in unjustified refusals to supply and imposed unreasonable trading terms. In China, we have seen how the state administration for market regulation has been targeting China's big tech ecosystem. And without a doubt, the most significant development in this regard has been the record-breaking fine imposed on Alibaba, announced in April of this year, for abuse of dominance by requiring its merchants not to sell on competing e-commerce platforms. But we have also seen new guidelines and also fines imposed for jumping the gun for companies who merged without complying with the relevant notification obligations. In other jurisdictions, in India, for instance, we see that the Competition Commission has become one of the most active competition agencies in the world and has even been investigating Google's allegedly exclusionary practices, for instance, through its Play Store's payment system. In Korea, um, one of the most established jurisdictions um, with a very long history, a strong message was sent to cartel members with the provision of 1.5 million um, US dollars in rewards to someone who blew the whistle on the price fixing behavior of seven steel producers. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. I could go on and on about what has been happening in Asia. Now for the conference, we have put together four panels to provide you with insights into these developments. Over four days, we will focus on mergers, institutional design, case coordination across borders in the Asian region, and policy and legal developments in China and Hong Kong. We are also very fortunate to count with the participation of speakers with unrivaled expertise from different angles and backgrounds, many of whom have been directly involved in the cases that we will be discussing. So there will be many enforcers, practitioners, industry representatives, and also academics. This should enable us to have assorted perspectives on these paramount issues. So please save the date, the 13th to the 17th of September, 2021, once again online. So it means that hopefully you can participate regardless of where you are. We sincerely hope that you can join us.